Hi, this is Huang Rei. Welcome to A Thousand Whys. Did you ever have this weird but cute experience that I used to have when I was little? You would be sitting on a stool in the yard and looking up into the sky on a cool summer's evening, indulging in a daydream. In the wanderings of your mind, you would wonder, how would it be like living in the stars? Are the stars humans or aliens? Can they see me? And do they also like eating chocolate? For us earthbound humans, outer space is definitely a source of boundless fascination and mystery. And yet, while the vast majority of us continue to explore the universe through the power of the imagination alone, some have already ventured there in real life. That's right, astronauts. The first, and undoubtedly the bravest of them all, was Yuri Gagarin of the former Soviet Union. Sixty years ago, he made a 108-minute orbital flight in his Vostok 1 spacecraft, becoming the first man to travel into space and the first to enjoy the spectacular views of Earth only available from space. Since then, a long line of intrepid individuals have joined in exciting missions to space. <clears throat> in case you missed the news, three Chinese astronauts, or I should say, taikonauts, arrived at the country's space station aboard the Shenzhou 12 spacecraft on June the 17th. They will live there for at least three months. The three are the first ever Chinese spacemen to enter a space station. The recent manned spaceflight brought an interesting fact to the fore. You've probably heard of astronauts and cosmonauts before, but people have been referring to Chinese astronauts as taikonauts. You may have been left wondering to yourself, why taikonauts? The word taikonaut is actually a combination of the Chinese word taikong and the suffix not. Taikong is a Chinese word for outer space. Loosely translated, therefore, a taikonaut is a Chinese astronaut. The word taikonaut was included in the Oxford English Dictionary in 1998. But it was only a theoretical concept at that time. The idea turned into reality when Yang Li Wei became the first Chinese taikonaut to travel into space in 2003. The then 38 year old Yang made a 21 hour flight in the Shenzhou 5 spacecraft. Clearly, that makes Yang the first ever Chinese taikonaut. Well, what if I told you that there was another one many more years ago than you could ever imagine, like thousands of years ago? As it turns out, obsession with outer space is not exclusive to us humans of today. Many fantastical tales dating back thousands of years recount the dreams of people in ancient China about flying to the sky. One such legend recounts the story of a lady known as Chang'e. Her name may ring a bell if you have been following our show. The legend of this beautiful woman lives on in the form of many versions of her story. But the best-known version of the legend has it that Chang'e mistakenly consumed an elixir of immortality. The magical power of the potion caused her to flow up into the sky and eventually to the moon. Since then, she has led a lonely life on the moon with the sole companionship of a rabbit. 
This explains why China's lunar missions have usually borne the name of Chang'e. So I guess it's fair to say that the first ever Taikonaut was Chang'e. I'm joking, obviously. I suppose establishing who went into space first does not really matter all that much. Space exploration is a romantic, spectacular, and awe-inspiring adventure, regardless of whether it's done by taikonauts, astronauts, or cosmonauts. It is unimportant how you choose to refer to our space heroes. What matters is that all of humanity is now getting to explore an altogether new frontier. In the next episode of our Space Talk series, we will bring you more stories about the fascination that people in ancient China had for space, and the ways in which they tried to conceptualize this great unknown. Be sure to join us again on A Thousand Wise. I'm Huang Rei. Until next time, bye for now.